Welcome friends, I welcome each one of you to this amazing journey of e-business. We are going to complete this journey of e-business with the help of one book, Information Technology for Management by Turban, Volino and Wood. Indian edition is modified by O.P. Wiley. So we will keep on following this book. Most of the chapters are in our curriculum. If I will find that a particular chapter is not in our curriculum, I will let you know. At least chapter number 1 is in, in our curriculum. So let us start this journey. Chapter 1. Digital technology creates new levers for growth and improved performance. This is the name of the chapter. It means that digital technology is going to improve efficiency. With greater efficiency, we are trying to achieve higher effectiveness. That's why we say that it's going to create new levers for growth and improved performance. This performance will be enhanced and improved. How is it going to happen? So this chapter number one is going to talk about it in five segments. What are the five segments? The one Digital technology transforming how business is done. The way in which we used to do business during yesterday, decades and centuries is now drastically changed. We have seen amazing things happening in this space of doing business and how this business has changed. We have some feel of it, it in this chapter section 1.1. 1 .1. 1 1.2 is talking about business process management. Now we have started looking into the business in terms of processes. What is this process? This process is something like input, processing and output. When we are in a position to see the things in this manner, we are in a position to focus on improvement of performance, effectiveness and efficiency. That's why now we have started looking into process. We have started defining everything in terms of the process. The third one is competitive advantages and SWOT analysis. Now the question is that how can you gain some advantage with the help of technology? digitization and how this SWOT analysis can help us in gaining this advantage which will be enjoyed by the firm as compared to the competitors. Obviously competitors will be doing the same job. You can't say that if you are aware, if you are in a position to do something, then your competitor will not be doing the same thing. Obviously in this transparent age Everybody is in a position to explore internet, find the most suitable solution for his requirements, organization, process. So now the question is that how are you in a position to remain current? Are you in the best league? Are you in a position to know what is happening, what has happened? And are you in a position to mold your business processes, modify your business processes, implement the new technologies in your business to gain competitive advantage? The fourth section is talking about enterprise technology trends. So what are the trends? Obviously, uh, trends are now changing their turns every day in and out. You can't say that a particular trend can be identified and defined and can be captured by a book. Capturing into the book takes a lot of time. Now, a lot of things are happening and then trends are being captured later on. This is also one very amazing thing about this internet age or digital age. And the four fifth point is IT expertise add, adds value to your career, how you are going to get benefited if you know information technology 
in your uh, career. So these are the five segments of this chapter one. We are going to talk about one by one. Let's now talk about section one, which is digital technology transforming how businesses are done.